momentum. Now, what is the reason for the flat um, growth in exports? You must understand that because of inflation, to ensure controlling inflation in India and ensure adequate availability of certain products, we have put some restrictions. You are aware that wheat has almost gone into a negative list. It is a prohibited item except for some food security things for some neighboring countries. We have put serious restrictions on steel exports, steel as well as iron ore pellets. That has gone into a negative list. Some other products have also got you know export duties plus iron ore also was put under restrictions last year. So all this collectively has led to a certain flattening of exports in those sectors including a decline. And when we release the data you will see it yourself because all the data is being given out just now after this uh, press conference. Secondly, imports are also rising and uh, the figures I have as far as imports are concerned is that imports in August are 61.68 billion, 61.68 billion. That is a rise of 37 percent and over five months imports have risen by um, uh, the imports are 318 billion, 318 billion that is a rise of 45 percent and when we actually look into it two major areas in which imports are actually rising are one is petroleum products and the other is coal coke and briquettes. Uh, there are two parts to it. One, there has been a price inflation in these products. Two, there is also some stocking up going on to ensure uh, energy security in the country. You are aware of that coal imports were asked to be increased a couple of months ago to ensure adequate coal supply for power plants in the rainy season. So I think that led to a spike in those imports. The other factor as far as imports are concerned is when you get the data you will understand about 25 percent of India's imports are consumer items. 75 percent is either raw materials or intermediates. So we are pulling in imports is a good sign that the economy is growing fast. So actually a rise in imports per se is not a concern because it actually shows that imports are feeding into our domestic economy which is growing fast. The counter is we need to push exports more and I am confident that is happening and we see the totality I think it is quite satisfactory. I am particularly happy about agricultural exports which has done extremely well. Uh, it is ahead of our targets and meat is doing extremely well, marine products are doing extremely well, cereal preparations are doing well, coffee is doing extremely well and uh, the coffee board tells me that you know it is going to be a jump of at least 35, 40 percent this year in coffee exports. Tea is also doing well. So that is as far as individual products and their exports are concerned. On the services side, Services are doing at the rate of about 25 billion a month. We have done 95 billion in four months and we are on target to cross 300. My internal figures say 301 billion. So we say okay roughly 300 billion we will get in services. Uh, last year whatever services we did, they did not have transport or travel. That has got restored. You are seeing what is happening in the airports you know, that choked. So I am sure with all that coming, our services exports are also going to boom. If you look at it in totality, I mean where are we had, headed as far as trade is concerned at the end of the year? Our estimation is, if you see the trade in goods and services, just the trade deficit, वाणिज्य सचिव की प्रेस वार्ता का सीधा प्रसारण आप देख रहे थे जिसमें उन्होंने बताया है कि निर्यात इस वर्ष 750 अरब डॉलर के पार कर जाएगा अगस्त में व्यापार